Welcome back to the channel, guys. So I got something I'm super excited to share with you all. This morning, I woke up with the goal of making a unkillable Iron Twins Fortress Stage 15 team that would work on all affinities. More importantly than that, with the unkillable, I wanted to make sure a team could be made without using Geomancer. Geomancer has been carrying us guys so hard. He is the best epic, in my opinion, inside of the game, period, okay? But I got a team that I'm gonna show you guys that is no Geomancer, 100% auto. I think it should work on all the levels up to stage 15, and then stage 15, most importantly, full auto from turn one, no manual turns whatsoever, and it's using a team that I use every single day as it is. No changes whatsoever, just a few different champions, okay? So here we go. Now remember, this team's not gonna be free-to-play friendly. It's not gonna be a cheese. If you want a cheese strategy, just go with the Paragon build. With Geomancer, it's two minutes and 43 seconds, and I get the, I guess, irony behind if you don't have Geomancer, you probably don't have two man eaters and a Helicath, but stranger things have happened, guys. I went until like two months ago with no miscreated monster. So I definitely believe there's some people out there who either one, don't have a Geomancer or just don't wanna throw 600 accuracy or can't throw 600 accuracy on their Geomancer. So guys, this team right here is two man eaters in Bat Eater Clan Boss build. So their speeds are the exact same and the Pain Keeper is also the exact same build as my, body, my Bat Eater team. So the only champion different is Hellcath and Coldheart, but the other three are in the exact same builds, exact same everything, which is incredible. And then here, we have the exact same stuff and Rosh card instead of Hellcath. Now I've seen quite a few people in the community asking, hey, could you just use Double Man Eater and Hellcath or Double Man Eater and Rosh card in a team? And I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and dive into this and see if we can make it work. And it's worked out very well. I mean, we have a, two, a six minute there, a two minute there, and the best part, is you can use any damage dealer, more or less. Honestly, I think a Poison Champion, Frozen Banshee, Kale, Dark Kale could be very good, but you don't need accuracy for champions like Armager, champions like Coldheart, and Coldheart will be affinity friendly everywhere, which is incredible. Plus, you're gonna be easily able to build her with high enough crit rate, because even when the boss does the decreased crit rate, if you have Coldheart at 100%, she's still gonna crit on her A3 ability, which is incredible. So keep that in mind, if you want a non-accuracy intensive champion, just throw in literally anybody who doesn't need accuracy, right? To land their poisons or whatever. Poisons are gonna make it faster. But let me go through here, click these abilities. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you find it valuable. If you do, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So with the fast man eater, I'll show you guys all the masteries and the gear in just a second. But we have him at 271 speed. The presets is what we'll start off with. No presets for the fast man eater. For the slow man eater, the 245 speed. Now, slow is relative, of course. The slow man eater is going to be fast for others. But either way, we have just opening on that A1 ability. So for Helicath, we have him opening with the A1 ability. We do not use the A2 because it places a buff. We kind of don't want a ton of buffs. And then the A3 ability, we have that set to number one priority. For Armager, just the A2, have it as number one priority. Sometimes he's weird if you don't set that, so make sure to set that. And then Painkeeper, I have her right now set to not use that A2. The reason why I did that is because the A2 ability heals her and as well as everybody else. Right now, I could probably take it off because I actually went in here to my painkeeper and took off the mastery that gives her a chance to counterattack when she's hit pretty hard. So if you do have this, you may want to turn off the A2 ability because it could mess up your run. But if you don't have that mastery, you could technically probably leave that A2 ability on so then all your other champions can get their counterattacks, proc their war master, and hopefully kill the boss even quicker. So as far as the masteries go, you can really run anything. The only champion who's going to be kind of specific is going to be your pain keeper. Ideally, you don't have the typical support masteries that can mess up the speed tunes of any clan boss team. So none of the um, arcane celerity, none of the, well, cycle of magic is okay on some of the damage dealers, but a typical clan boss build, okay? If you don't use it on clan boss, don't use it here. It's going to be a very similar setup. Now, as far as the gearing, get whatever gear you need to get your stats where you need them to be. The most important thing is speed. If as far as the actual speeds of the champions, the damage dealing stats are gonna be nice to speed up your run, but you don't need to hit super hard. Whereas with clan boss, if you're trying for a one key, you do wanna optimize all that. But if you already use this for clan boss, just throw them in the exact same way you have them currently built. Now, as far as Helicath, Helicath's the most important one, okay? So Helicath and technically the slow man eater. The slow man eater is in toxic gear. If you can fit toxic gear on anybody, throw it on them. The extra poison ticks will help speed up the boss run. You definitely want to do that if at all possible. Warmaster is definitely a thumbs up. Go for Warmaster as well. Now, as far as Helicath, I've actually ran him at a few different speeds. So Helicath or Roshkard both work perfectly fine. What I found most success with is anywhere between 245 speed 
which is, in other words, the exact same speed as your slow man eater. Since they're the same speed, their base de their base speed is what determines who goes first. And Helicath has a higher base speed than man eater, so he will always go first. So 245 speed, and I think I've ran it as high as 256. But you got a pretty big gap there, so just try to fit your Helicath in that gap or your Rosh card. It's going to be perfectly fine. Now, as far as your damage dealer, I've had success as low as 210, 211 speed. And then I think I've had success even with a Geomancer earlier with like 256 speed. So I don't think the speed of your damage dealer really matters. You'll see in this run, there's no point where the unkillable block damage, anything like that actually falls off. So just make them ideally 210 plus and you're going to be good to go. So there's countless number of damage dealers you can use. If obviously be careful about using champions with relentless gear, using champions with extra turns, using champions with turn meter boost, buffs, things like that are going to mess up your run. But as long as you don't have that, you're going to be perfectly fine. So guys, let me show you how this team works. Honestly, I think the fastest one is going to be with Dark Kale. If you threw Dark Kale in here, he'd be placing a lot of poisons. He'd be activating the poisons. He'd be activating poisons from toxic sets, which honestly, I may throw my Helicath in a toxic set. If I have one fast enough, I definitely will do that. This is on the test server, by the way. That's why I have so many gems. Um, I should have a little image around here somewhere saying a test server, but it is a test server. Um, so I can test that out some more, speed this run up a little bit. But for the purpose of this, I use Armager, Uncommon Champion. I think everybody has him. So here we go. We'll go ahead and jump in here. I'll go ahead and hide my webcam, guys. And we will speed this video up a little bit so you guys can see how the whole team works. And I'll be back towards the end of this run. All right, guys, so there you go. Six minutes and 58 seconds. This is definitely not a fast team. Now, if you throw in Geomancer, it's going to be consistent. You're obviously going to need the accuracy. Or you could throw in a champion like Dark Kale, which may be what I try, um, especially since my Geomancer build is typically used for Hydra. But you can definitely throw in a lot of different damage dealers. This example was just with Armager. Coldheart works great. You can see from the screenshot that she did it in six minutes and 56 seconds. So a very similar time. The Armager here was not built very well either. So you can definitely reduce the time. Depends on what damage dealer you want to bring. But as far as overall stat requirements, you need just the speeds. Get Warmaster, get your masteries done, and then your damage dealer. Put them in some good gear. The speeds for the damage dealer, very, very flexible. So guys, like I said, I ran slow as 210, 211 speed. And then I think as fast as 260 with a Geomancer earlier. So guys, with that said though, hope you all enjoy. Hopefully you've learned something from this. Hopefully this can be of use to you all. Um, best of luck building your Iron Fortress team. This should work on all affinities, all difficulties. I don't see why it wouldn't. You guys can see in the video, literally every single turn was protected. Every single turn was perfectly fine. I tried with Cernic. It didn't really seem to work with him. 
But there we go, guys. Stage 15, Iron Fortress, fully auto, fully unkillable, fully friggin' awesome, I guess. But guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.